I want to show yep. her if this is real. If this is the real Jody Sue, uh, Benny oh, Keys has been oh, acting oh, like on. she's been texting me, and uh, I'm I'm turning all hold this on. into the police. I'll check it. Check, I can check and see if it's a real Jody Sue. Where she's at? Where's she at? Where is it? Nothing is wrong with your name what? either. I said, I said it was cute. I don't see it. That's all. Oh, Jeez. there's Jody. Hold on. I don't even know you. It's real. Yep, I that's mean, her. I've already had secret mod checked already. It's her. Okay, so. Okay, Jody Sue. That's what her. I show you. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, what I want to show you, Jody Sue. Is these messages that somebody act like it was you and text me? It's Benny Keys, is who it is. They're trying to put me and you and say something about the Summer Wells thing. I never. And here's the thing: they're they're really bad about it. But mm. good God Almighty, this is ridiculous. Here she is. Oh, oh she's Jody. getting up here. Good. Okay, good. so now. They're probably going to have 15 cows over this, but I need to show you this. What's up, Jody Sue? I've never I'm, actually I'm, got to say hi to you before. I'm going to the police. Um, I'm going to the police with this. I'm going to the FBI with this. Okay, that's fine, and I appreciate you doing so, and it is definitely an important time that you do so. If you hear anything from the Tragedy Pimp group over there, it's why I'm offline sort of right now for the moment, at least partially. There's also some stuff moving around, I think, on other things here that are important to Summer. But um, these tragedy pimps went too far with my little over Christmas season, among other things. And like I said, it's time to start kicking things in. So anything you have well, I want you to, I want you to look at this. And they acted like you. And they're literally, they're they're really forming their own narrative to try to put you in jail for this. Watch this. Let me show you what they're trying to do. And they're going to make money off of this. Let me see right here. Well, this if, this if is the message. Right they here. Have, they, have, they have tried to make uh, Jody Shield look like a bad person and all this. Okay, I do so admit that. Yeah, let's, so check this out. Let, can everybody Ernie, mute out and just let them two talk here for a second? That's yeah, everybody, me. everybody, mute out. Let me and Jody talk about this. Who's uh, this me? Me and who? You this and Ernie. Is Benny, this is Benny Keys. This this happened on December the eighteenth. This is a message to me. I want let you read these. I, I want you to read these. FBI, this okay. is a criminal act right here. This is a criminal act, by the way. This I is know. Jody Sue Brown. I need you. Uh, I need your help. Or you're in Tennessee. Okay, so at the time I, I wasn't. Know. I wasn't in Tennessee. Uh, I was in Ohio. Okay, so I, little fella that had my phone. He. Uh, you don't even text. You and I both know we've never texted over any cell phone communications ever, or had private conversations off. Well, yet. we it's don't even know each other except for you two. That's the thing. No, turn into the FBI and TBI, please. I plan on it because Tiffany Marie came on the panel earlier oh, today. Go and ahead and talking call, about you. Go ahead and call Kingsport Police Department, Hawkins County, both, please. Okay, so let me read this right here to you. Uh, let's see, Judy Sue. Let me get the rest on. Let's see. Let me start right here. Right we here. the other okay. day with the and stuff. We here were waiting on one of them to do a certain thing with that to show. Well, they gone full real life on my child through that and meant to call her emotional and uh, psychological. Well, do you want me to? Uh, so, uh, we got I can that contact time. Tony Allen. I'll, I'll contact Tony tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we'll, I've got three people going to turn this into the FBI. I'll turn it into a TBI, and uh, we'll just make files out of it and keep and show everybody what's going on because they're literally trying to put me with you and you doing things like, like, like what? Look at some of this shit. Okay, so there you go. Talking about the prosecutor in Hawkins County targeting, harassing, and tormenting. And uh, Ernie, I'm in Sullivan County. Prosecutor, these YouTubers. Uh, 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 they put like nine different road names there. Uh, so they're trying to have you dox me again, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Well, That's they not- tried to get me to meet you. They tried to get me. Look, they're trying to get me to. They tried to get me to meet at 430 today at the bottom of the hill. At the bottom of the at- hill. We're talking about Ben Hill. Uh, then you're going to be I'm not on Ben Hill. Well, that's what I mean. I guess that's what they're talking about. The bottom hill, and then it says. So I said. So why did you reach out to me? Candace said she saw me at four thirty, 
And Burger King knows he's got something. He's been quiet. Burger King has been a keys. And I know he's putting together the correct timeline. That fucker, unfortunately, is good. They what give him you, too much credit. I knew it was. I knew it was him. <laughs> what did you say the date on the messages were, Ernie? What are they trying to say the dates are on those? Well, no, December the 18th is when they started. So today in my chat, Tiffany Marie so, sent me money sorry, and Benny Key sent me money. <laughs> Tiffany Marie wants to talk about Summer Wells. Listen, there, and then she's like, her question today was, well, how long have you known Jody Sue? I know you know Jody Sue before Summer Wells went missing. I'm like, no, I didn't. I, don't, I still don't know Jody Sue. I don't know nothing about Jody Sue. I don't watch this shit. And then she's like, oh, well, where was you at when Summer went missing? And I mean, they the whole thing had to make me target you and try to say you took summer, and that was when I first started talking over here on YouTube before I even had my own channel, and I refused to do so. They've tried to say it's all bullshit. Or well, I'm just going to tell you my opinion about it. I think Benny Keys was involved in it because of this video. Do you remember this video, Jody? Right here it is. No, man. man I don't. Morning, I don't think it should have been paid on the you, ground to I fuck with it. Vacation, cranky. Oh, I just had I him like two months ago, too. I was down in Tennessee. and You're where he's schizophrenic, right? You know, like, oh, and, uh, me. It is just so hard. Well, yeah, I mean, I know he's, and there's something wrong with him that, that, that ain't right. Yeah, he's uh, schizophrenic, Ernie. He takes meds. That's why he went back to his old channel with that video I shared yesterday or day before and took it down because he didn't want anybody to see it, but it's still here on the streets. The one that's titled Head Meds, and it shows his name on the description. Everybody knows he's schizophrenic. I but didn't know that. Well, see, uh, see, I didn't know that. His daughter says where he gets SSI and all that. You know, Breezy, when she did the video with Jimbo, Says that he's diagnosed schizophrenic. His mom knows it. Everybody else knows it. He should not be around the cases he's around. And, but it does not make up for him tormenting and harming other children in other cases. And uh, uh, Jody, Tina, Tina said, can you uh, give her a call tomorrow or something, anyway? But either way, um, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of contact recently and made calls in their days. Look. Law enforcement and feds are well aware of where all of us are at all times. There's proof and tracking and all that shit, so I ain't worried about <clears> it. But however, like it falls into the category with AB, where he did the whole Gmail accounts and our names, trying to talk like me and impersonate me across the internet and my family members and stuff. It goes into really extremely um, illegal territories and stuff, which is why I reported... So why would they go into all this to try to prove you wrong and try, and try and then they try to bring me in it and then they told you beforehand that they try to get you to say that I took summer? I didn't hear that. Oh, I've got it in the messages already. I've got all kinds of shit that warned me that you took summer and your family and they were driving by your family's houses down here and shit and taking pictures sending them to me all this other crap. Then I realized you had filled up paperwork on the Scamathon and I was like, oh, that's why they're trying to target this Ernie Shell character, and they're trying to use me to do it. And that was the first few weeks, sometime, I don't know, October, November of um, 2021. So, wow. and then a few months later is when you actually come in here, and I actually see you riding the panels and Ziggies and all that, you know. Right, right. But that's before I even, I mean, they brought me in this shit. I mean, BK brought me in this. Man, I don't really care about all the soap opera bullshit, but these are real criminals. They and are. The rest in their games are soap opera bullshit. And right now it is a very important time. If you see something, say something with them and call <clears throat> in law enforcement on what they're doing around Summer's case and to everyone around it because they've crossed too many lines at this point. And I knew a time would come when it was time to start kicking everything in. And this was my daughter's last straw. We waited a couple of days uh, to get, because we knew one or two things would happen. We either have physical evidence in hand or absolute evidence that what they were trying to do. And we know that the person behind it is uh, keys because the cart, the timing, everything else. So it can be proven it was him and what he did. And he, I'm not going to say, it, but on, we were just waiting for proof um, and for one thing to happen. And it did. And. Now it shows he actually, uh, it's the intent. It wasn't just 
what they did illegally with her age group and this other cross line as far as Anna and Dazed and Keys and Tiffany and Andy and all them did the night starting after court. It's everything else after and especially with her Christmas list and um, it actually shows the true intent which was to cause her emotional and um, psychological stress and stuff so in that way um, yeah, that was the last piece I was waiting on. But right now, I really do have the flu. Uh, everybody around here, uh, I was not wrong the other night when I thought I was feeling a little too good. It's usually uh, a sign that I'm going to go down. So I'm resting and trying my best <clears throat> not going. Hey, Judge, can I ask you a question real quick? Since can I y'all... ask you a question, Jody Sue, real quick? This is Charlotte. Uh-huh. Remember I used to, I was a sub, Charlotte Ann. Remember I was a sub in your um and you ought I don't know what I did to you, but I always believed your story. I've always stuck up for you, everything. Then all of a sudden we was in I was in your chat one night. We were having an eighties night. We we're having such great fun talking about things we did back and you know, I told everybody how much fun you were and everything and and how much I believed in you and your story, but then all of a sudden I got blocked from your yeah. channel. There's a lot of that been happening, and I, I mean, I'm I sure I sent you super chats and and different things, and and I got just got blocked from I'll you. Block and people about this who have been blocked, I was not aware. It, still, can't. There's all kinds of weirdness. Is, in it, it, it is do hooky still your main mod? Can uh, someone check and see if that's Candace that just now popped in? Can you tell here. me if do hooky is your is you don't have to, but is Doohickey still your main mod? Uh, I usually, like, if I use mods anymore, it's usually do or enhance. Okay, because I know, I know, do, because I know, uh, do like, Nicolina doesn't like me. She's trying to come after me real life, and do Hickey's over there in her community. So, hey, Jay, I don't know so if I that has want- anything to do with it. I didn't. T- I didn't take it any. I didn't take it personally on you. I just wondered why I got blocked from your channel because I had a great time over there. Like, and I wish everybody. And I knew your story, and and I knew, and I knew your story never changed. Like it has never changed. Like it's always been consistent. Like from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, really not, I, but they really try hard to make people think that it has, and it's not. I mean, time as time moves forward, I have a little harder time. You know, things are fading, but other things are becoming brighter, just like Card Team FBI right. said they would, you know, but, you know, they're... Right, I right, and I, I, I watched it all. I've watched it all unfold, like, from you coming, you know, in, from everything, from Andy coming on and doing his stuff. And I, I watched it all. Like, you know, you can ask a lot of people. I don't miss too much. <laughs> right. You know what I'm There's saying? One. I really don't. Ask ask Ernie. Ernie, how much do I miss? <laughs> Obviously a I lot because she's very not that I blocked you. But anyway, Jody Sue, have ask you seen Outlaw. Dawn? Ask Outlaw. Outlaw, how much do I miss? Like, oh for real. Oh, gosh. Oh. I mean, not you could talk it's not, all night long, girl. Okay, you know, seriously. so Anissa, this is not a bashing Jody thing. Sue? I'm trying to like, I know it's not uplift it's not Jody Sue and let her have. You know, world. I'm trying to let Jody Sue lift her voice. Anyway, you know, lift up on, her voice on, and show her. You know, let her tell her side. You know. I just want to let Ernie. Uh, so, thank you for allowing me to come up, and uh, I'll catch you later. I gotta get some sleep so I can get get up in the morning. And good get, night, get going again. Copy that, outlaw. Thank you, thank you, brother, and I appreciate good. you for fighting a good fight. Not a problem. Good I'm night, always, outlaw. It, I'm always quiet in the back scenes, and I will fight with the fight. But this has got to stop out here. This is getting monotonous. Yeah, it is. It's getting crazy. Uh, well, I appreciate you coming up, man. Thank you. Not a problem. I'll catch you later, Ernie. See, brother. Uh, Anissa, did you have something you wanted to ask Jody Sue? I did. I didn't know that Jody Sue was coming up, so um, I appreciate that. But yeah, I do have a quick question, and if you don't want to answer, perfectly fine with that. But since Dawn has been released, have you seen Dawn or Candace 
at all or heard from them? Um, in person? I mean, just anything. Because I know they went silent. I'm just curious because you live around the area. Mm -hmm. You know, most of us, I don't live around the area, of course. Mm, I'd rather not answer that question. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was just that, curious. That, that is fair. That's, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I that's think, a fair question. I, I think that, um, I, I mean, I, I know that, you know, they're fine. No, man. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I just, by the way, nice to finally meet you. Was blocked, but Duhiki unblocked me. So, like I said, just wanted to ask you a simple question. Um, never really got to talk like this before. But, Ernie, I'm going to jump down. Just unblock me, though, when you can, by the way. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'll, I'll check I you out and that. see what I can do. As soon as I get to a laptop, I'll do that. Can I ask right. why? Why the question of before she jumps down? I was just curious. Like I said, you know, I've been following the case for a long time and listening to you and your late nights and you're around the area. And since he's been out that nobody's heard from him. I mean, I don't think they will. Like a fart and wind, say, like. I know they try to make you all think that the letters are not done, but those letters were done. And if you all take note uh you know he very clearly said they didn't know if they'd survive youtube or not uh and yeah. look what you does to them look what youtube does to all these people around all of these cases hell look in the idaho case they've got a neighbor a scream a dog another car even though it's a witness only just like the red truck you know they've got all these other things and it's the same pattern over and over again they pick a neighbor a babysitter it, anybody around it's torment you know and everybody that they can to spin these narratives and terrorize, libel, slander, harass, ruin their incomes, livelihoods, and then, you know, swear up and down that if, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's the same rinse repeat pattern in every case. And oh, I'm not uh, denying that at mean, all. You know, they yeah. do bad things, but, you know, we can't even go to the store. It's like earlier, <clears throat> I tried to go out to get medicine and uh, gator like. And, uh, you know, got people coming by here because they're wondering because, you know, I'm offline and I assumed honestly, it's what part of this is to not see if I could be drawn out and to see what's going on, see if Ernie couldn't suck information from me. I don't really care. But the thing is, is that, um, like I said, when I went offline the other day, it was my choice. I, mean, I couldn't be online, but I really am truly extraordinarily sick right now. And. I hope you Dude, Anissa, before you drop down, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. I'm going to open Anissa, be up. Before, yeah, before you drop down, can I ask you a question? Um, so you've been following Summer's case from the beginning. Um, so what do you think happened to her and um, where do you think she is? Well, that's the million dollar question. Where do you think she is? Um. I don't believe anybody took opinion, her from I that mean, area. No, I don't. I don't believe that anybody walked up that humongous gravel driveway or the dog trail. I just, I don't. Now, if something happened anywhere else, then so be it. I don't know. I really don't. You ever been there in person, Anissa? I have not. I have not. Um... I do hope to go soon. I was going to go, but with all the drama going down there, you know, with stuff, people were showing up. I just decided not to. The thing is, though, what's the point? Did you ever watch the, yeah, did you ever watch the Chris McDonough interview or the of Brian course. Hinton interview? I'll, I'll just yeah, ask. I've watched all of them. Yeah. The perspective and what you all see on TV and everything is different than what these tragedy pimps feed you and tell you all when they go to that road is bullshit. Um, well, Brian Etten is a very good, um, I'm just going to mm. speak my words. If anybody was to ever, Brian Etten is, is, he is very good. Mm. Just saying. Not a fan, but you know, it's like everything's so, done. McDonough's fucking garbage. So. Oh yeah. Like you, you 
we all know he promised Don not to, uh, you know, come out of the bars. And, you know, he he's if anybody has ever made any money off of Summer's name, who do you think it was? Every one of these goddamn Jody. trade. Well, who made the most off of Summer's name? Oh, honestly, I would uh, tell you that um, the little band of Tragedy Pimps has made far more than... It was McGee. Chris. It uh-huh. was Chris. Because that's not even the issue, though. Summer's still gone. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for I sure. And that's, what I was, and that's what I've been putting in the chat all night. Man, well, man, a couple, a couple oh, times. I'm like, where is Summer? And I'm like, prayers for Summer. That's not the point, no. But we're having a, you know, a civil discussion, you know. But when you are, can lead directly back to Summer before she went But when you promise, but when you promise a Summer's dad not to come out of the bars of Tennessee and he's going to go to Nebraska and you promise that he's never going to see the light of day. Chris ain't the TBI. He's and not he the doesn't, No. And he doesn't follow through with it. But he can't. I mean, he's not. Bad. He's not district attorneys. He's not prosecutor. Yeah. Come but on, that, You know. And that's I not up that. to him. No, no, no. Computers. He's. But that's part of Summer's case, though. Like, he promised these people that he wouldn't, like. Come on. That's not part of Summers. It's separate from. It's but different things. The fact of the matter is, so Jody, we're, so trying we're trying to fight here Are for Are they Ernie. still in the area? Are they still in the area where Summer, around your area? Just put it that way, or have they moved on? Who? Law enforcement? No, law enforcement would be there. I'm talking about, you know, Dawn and Candace. Like I'm they not have not just completely that. left. There's nobody online or otherwise that needs to know where they are. Or needs right. to know how they are. Because law enforcement, FBI, TBI are well aware of where they are. And that's not the public's business. They've tormented them enough. They already... Right, we can't exactly. Go to the Jody sued it. Their homes. Uh, law exactly. enforcement, FBI... Local agencies, they have this under control, and nobody on YouTube is going to solve this shit. And there ain't no need to torment them exactly. to go down there on the road. Neighbors, they're not a fucking zoo. There ain't no need to come by here tormenting us. There ain't no need to go down to Middle Tennessee and torment. There ain't no need to be hunting down Hunter, Alley, anybody else. Law enforcement, feds, and all local agencies know where we are 24 hours. Oh, I agree. Hours. I agree 100%. Did you, 100%. Jody Sue? Did you watch Justice for All when um he had another YouTube creator come on when she was talking to the Hawkins County uh uh the person that answers the phone and is like a, been there for like twenty thirty some years? Did you watch? Did you listen to that? Did you all listen to it? Because it don't take but her two calls to understand that's entire bullshit. It doesn't. I know. Make sense. By doing that would be fired. Uh, I mean, yeah, anybody with any common sense and knowing, you know, at, I know. Call it, they might have gotten a name down there saying right. that way from Bell calls in. Going, oh, yeah, there's really a Becky working there, but that doesn't mean that was actually Becky. You think people around right. YouTube are a little smarter by right. now. Right. Well, and supposedly she Becky got the screenshot there. of the phone number she called. She screenshotted the that phone number she called. Exactly. And send and it, send it directly to them. Yeah, but they're spoofing, yeah. and you can spoof the number. You can know that somebody by that name works somewhere. You can have a fake asshole pretend to be a person. But any district attorney's office, especially Dan Armstrong's, would fire somebody for saying and doing any of that shit on either. Well, phone calls. I specifically called the t- the Hawkins County Police Department, and I got the same person. So. Just saying. Well, so saying they worked at Dan Armstrong, the attorney general, whatever, that's an entirely different place than the Hawkins County Police Department. Mm-hmm. And there are four I, inside of the area or more that Dan Armstrong's ever, what, 12? I don't know. So who knows actually which one that one's at? So listen, I have one question. I'm going to leave y'all alone after this, all right? You're saying that you don't want to say anything about that, which I completely agree with. Nobody needs to mess with that case whatsoever because the main focus is finding someone. Dead or alive, 
she needs to be found. Okay. For sure. But without being interrupted. Why can't everybody drop it then? Why can't everybody just stop talking about it? Leave it alone. Let law enforcement do what they should do. And just let it go. Well, What's the I difference? The question should be asked of the tragedy pimps. Because they're the ones spinning narratives. Creating drama. People wanting to go down there. Wanting to know where all of us are. <laughs> but that's the same thing as me asking you though. Right, Jody Sue? I mean, being, oh, I mean me yeah. and you talking nicely, right? I'm not trying to, you know, be I'm ugly. Please don't think that. On. Look, I've seen your comments online. I, I don't need that bullshit, okay? But when her family... comments online. I haven't her, commented about Summer uh, in a long time. Here's the thing. <laughs> a long time. Uh, when her family, community... Jody's not stupid. Come on. Members, Sorry, I'm not talking to you. Hush for a minute. She's talking. When her family, church members, community members, neighbors, law enforcement, anybody around Summer who actually knows her, who actually lived in the community, all right, when they want to speak, they should be able to speak without assholes like BK, TM, and everybody else, and all these little tragedy pimps like Q and Shay and CZ and everybody else spinning fucking narratives, doing garbage, pulling dollar dollar bills while destroying and terrorizing and almost killing our family members, pushing harm towards all of us. It's, it's different. So y'all should be going around asking the tragedy pimps, won't they fucking stop? If they're really interested in helping Summer, then why is it all they do is torment, lie, and create narratives around all these cases and all these people around all of them. Every single one, they follow an exact pattern. Neighbors, Fry Guy, this one, that one, even if there's a prime and only suspect name in, like in Quentin's case, they still want to make somebody else look sus and a vehicle and a dog and a scream and a this. And they and torment the living shit out of neighborhoods and real people who really know these missing, murdered children and domestic violence victims, and they annihilate them and everybody goes along with it. I understand that, but this is about summer, though. But if you really wanted it to stop, though, <laughs> Jody Sue, you I would that? just say that you Why would do you stop. Say that? Does that make you feel better when you say, I understand that, but this is about summer. Do you want to put that Because it is about summer. We're not talking about Anissa, the Quentin case. Stop. Sean, wait about, a second. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Jody No, Sue. don't you tell me to wait a second. You need to stop. Y'all know how I feel about this girl. Stop, bullshit. Star. Star. Seriously. You know damn good and well I ain't going to sit on a panel and deal with this bullshit. If you want to say, well, this is about summer. Where's summer? Hashtag this one more time. Don't ask me another thing. I don't I'm have a channel, so I haven't hashtagged her nothing. I'm not I'm going to consistently channel. talk about her. I'm so not if you want it to stop, then why don't you stop talking about her? Why are you here on make panel? your own channel, Anissa. Anissa, why is it that you're up here on a panel as a random person who has never met Summer, never met Candace and Dawn, never lived here, why are you up here talking about Summer? Why do you have her name because in your name? Telling I anybody who asked me how I, you have the balls and the audacity to tell someone who actually knows Summer, fed did her, you know her? Because her you said that you never even hung out with Summer. You That's babysit her said. maybe once. I never how ever did you actually that? know Summer? Are you kidding me right now? Yes. Oh, no way. That was never said by me ever. Anissa, you don't know. Anissa only knows by and, oh, hearsay. It's funny Anissa that I have don't know. Her, right? It's funny that I have all the text messages saying here, this and the other, right? But Anissa's going to pretend all that proof doesn't exist or that Candace and Dawn haven't spoken or that, you know, our children, like Summer and my daughter are born a day apart or that, you know, all this proof we've shown. I mean, I lived right beside her and here's an this up here, tragedy pimping, pulling a narrative and going, oh, but you said you didn't hang out with Summer. You didn't know her. Is she kidding me right now? Seriously? No, she's not. She's up here for an agenda. And I'm not playing agendas and tragedy pimping. I'm telling anymore. you. Tonight. Jody Sue, I'm telling you. This is, Anissa can come across as being so nice. But she was telling me earlier that she didn't have anything against me. She didn't have anything against me, but she made fun of me of the night she, that I was up on White Rabbit's panel. She made fun of me on another channel. So, look, listen. It's like her, when I called her out a she, minute ago. She's just trying to nitpick on you. She doesn't know. She doesn't know 
you in your life. She just knows I'm about sure. hearsay. So give it up. Like, Anissa, stop. She just wanted it for clicks and views on another channel of whatever, whoever. I'm, she needs I know to Anissa. stop. I know she's a fan. All right. Once she came out, yeah. once she came out of Bullhorn Betty's channel, she used to be a mod in Bullhorn Betty's channel. Once she came out and oh, decided to stop modding for, once she decided to mod, stop modding for Bullhorn Betty's channel and came out into other things, she's changed. She has totally changed. I used to love Anissa. I loved her mm -hmm. to death. She was a great person. And then once she started coming out and then going on panels, she never showed up on panels. Nothing, nothing. She was just mods and she was great. And I've told her this. But then she started coming up on panels and doing like just what she did to you. Oh, I guess Jody do dropped down. No, I'm here. Oh, you're here? Oh, Ernie. What do yeah, you mean, you girl, Cole, shut up and let other talk? Well, guess what? Yeah. I'm a mom now. I don't, I don't care what she is, where she's at. I see enough of her all the time. Um, well, she disappeared. She disappeared for a while, so uh, she must have made somebody mad. Oh dear, bless them all. Anyway, back well, no, it, she she can't be putting words in your mouth. You know, no, she, she doesn't know what she doesn't know what you did. You know, she's only going by what she hears. She's only going by what she sees on TV or what this YouTuber saying or what this is. She doesn't know what has gone on in your life in the back. Notice and, she's only in. And then the location or communication of Candace and Dawn and then asking stupid questions and trigger me with the well. Right. Some of the better exactly. life thing. See, I ain't in the and, mood. It's clickbait bullshit. Me. And you Even right, and you notice when she came up here, she said I'm not I'm not I'm a, I'm not about drama. <laughs> okay. Like I see her comments all over the place. It don't bother me none. Um, the audacity of random assholes around the world, like her with the whole, you know, virtue signaling, like, Summer, this is about Summer, and she don't even, you know, it's like, whatever. Yeah, she didn't then, even see that, like, she didn't even see, like, there's been, like, it wasn't too much, because I've been on panel, but there's been several like, times where I put prayer for Summer in the chat, and, you know, this is about Summer. I did put that in there, and, and so did several of Ernie's subs. like. Yeah. They know <laughs> Ernie oh, subs um, want justice for summer. Ernie subs like in uh, along with Ernie, they want justice okay, for well, summer, and I they love that, summer. Virtue signal ain't gonna be it for anybody. But uh, when you have weird like Anissa saying, "Well, I'm gonna huh? go down there," soon. like why? Why does she need to go to the road? Why does she need to be anywhere near any of the properties or people or communities? Why? She doesn't. It doesn't help Summer. It's not going to help anything. It's just going to help her virtue signal and say she's going on a trip to what? To read about zoo animals? To terrorize a neighborhood that doesn't want a thousand people in there any longer? I mean, it's been, you know, this long of that. It's terrorizing. It's changing the community forever the way other children live, people's livelihoods. It's enough. It's fucking enough. It's about if it's about summer and at people like this are like, well, why are you speaking? Well, I don't know. You don't see like I don't know, like Barbara Walters or fucking Cronkite or somebody going to absolute strangers and asking them for interviews and shit on you know crimes or whatever else witness stuff. You know what I mean? So you tell me what right Anissa or any of these tragedy pimps have to be doing any of that? Whereas they're trying to tell people from. Summer's life, her family, her uh, church families, her community members, neighbors, everybody else in between, that they should shut up and go away? Does that make sense to you? What was the first of this with Summer's case? Nobody, what was it they said? Nobody's speaking out for Summer. Nobody from the neighborhood will speak. Nobody cares about Summer. Mm -hmm. 
I just want everybody that does care and does know her and does want her found and uh, does live here. They want everybody shut up so they can just get away with what they're doing and not be noticed. And, you know, somehow in their heads that makes right. sense. Exactly. And did Anissa go to Summer's Vigil? I mean, that was how long ago? What's waiting on her to go to Tennessee? I want to know what it helps anybody to do that anyway. It's nice, but it doesn't help Summer. And that last one they had, you know, I mean, both of them, as far as the larger group of tragedy pimps goes, uh, not just the quiet ones, the community members and things have held. Those are perfectly fine, you know, but the uh, bigger tragedy pimp ones ain't been nothing but virtue signaling and, um, you know, cash app mining BS for show and narratives and soap opera. They've not been making throw up the, it's about summer all they want, but it's not about summer. It's about them and content. Right, right. And, and, and if she knows all about, like, the Summer Wells case, and she's up here talking about Don and Candace, like, if she's like, oh, and then she said that she, she is, was in your YouTube channel. Like, if she knows anything about you, why would she even ask that? question this is just you know don't bring this out on the live but seriously i know where you're at and i know where donna candace lives so why would she even uh, ask that question she's fishing uh -huh. people think they know where we're at at all times and she and doesn't can... she doesn't know about the case because if she yeah. did you know i know just by when I was following you on the channel, but I got blocked. And I don't know why I got blocked. I don't know. And, you. and it's okay. And I can't and tell okay. you You know that there for a while, some of the creators as they're moving through as I was waiting on different. Oh, it, would, it would be moderators. Well, it would be moderators. I'm it shouldn't have to do anything with creators. Like, you, uh, as a creator, you should not. Sentence, you'd understand. Because some of the creators, yeah. like Tiff and Scott H and all the others, moved through and had wrenches. AB had them this year as they moved through. And I waited on different cycles to pop up with them as far as targeting us there. That way I could see them better. So they did hold wrenches at certain times in the rooms. And they could always go back to older chats and stuff I leave open and block and do things. And everybody knows that, um, if my kids need something or I have to do something, I do walk away quite a bit. Um, I just mute and, you know, cam out and I do what I need to do. And so it's left a lot of open moments to where people have been, you know, there's been all kinds of weirdness around my YouTube and chat and people being blocked and not blocked on who's to say by whom at what points. And some of these little tragedy pimp creators have hacked into my YouTube and added, um, administrators and all kinds of things to it and all kinds of weird things going especially in that blocked and unblocked section okay from what i'm gathering from <clears throat> all the live panels that i've seen i've seen candace and i've seen candace on probably about 15 different live panels um i've have i have them all downloaded and I've okay. seen Don, I've seen Don probably on about maybe eight or nine, maybe. And I have them all downloaded. So, and I also, sure. I also have, yeah, and I also, yeah, and I also have, um, you know, from her, um, two or two different YouTube pages that she downloaded, um, past videos when they were younger and past pictures when they were younger. Um, so what I gather is this is what I gather from the Wells family. Um, let's start here. Cause people in the chat are wanting to know about the family from an outsider. Okay. Not from an insider just from an outsider. Okay. Do you want to hear this, Jody, or not? I mean, I'm 
uh, I, I've seen every opinion and heard every opinion of okay from an and, and outside and, and, and guessing and assumptions. Public, you can think of on everybody around summer. I mean, you know, so you know, right from an outsider, this is what you know, because I don't miss very much, like, and I've been in a lot of, of different situations, like, raised four of us kids by herself, and we had, like, nothing, you know, so, um, from an outsider, this is what I gather, and I gather that, okay, so, Everybody can end this conspiracy about Don having anything to do with Rose's disappearance. So that can stop because it's already been said. It's already been, you know, on the news. It's already been in the the law enforcement has reports that Don has nothing to do with in Candace has in Grandis has nothing to do with Rose's disappearance. Okay. So, what I gather, Candace has a mentality of, like, a 10-year-old child. Can you back that up, Jody Sue, or not? Uh, Candace does not act like a 10-year-old, nor is her mental capacity lower than yours or mine or else's. That's the assumption you all made, and when y'all factor in the live stream she's on, um, so, y'all are not admin that she is being manipulated by these creators. Uh, there was all these other things in the background, and she is very much messing with half of them, plus they're messing so with her. So even on the Dr. Phil show, the mentality that we got, she was... I mean, they even factored that the mentality was a lot lower. Like her IQ in the mentality is a lot lower than her age. Who made the IQ? Who did that? The um, Who did whoever that? they the the um, the behavior or not the behavior the uh, oh, the people yeah yeah yeah. 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 That put off their show, the, the end result thing for the Dr. Phil thing, like, they're all working together, obviously, and since they're on Dr. Phil, I'd assume they were. Y'all ever been I behind mean, the scenes? Of the show? I have. So, Y'all ever is she, the scenes of the show? so, so, are, can I ask you a question then? Do you think that she, how old is she? Uh, she's a little bit older than I am, by a couple years. So, so what? 40? And the thing is, she's lied to me about it quite a few times throughout the years. She told me she was younger than I was for quite a few years. So, so she's what? 40? She's in her late 40s then, right? She's not in her late 40s, no. Late 50s? No. Early 50s? You're talking about Candace, right? Not Candace yes. Senior. No, you I'm really talking about Candace. Not Grandis. Candace. Candace is not in her late 40s or her 50s. Early 40s? I'm only in my 30s. Okay, so she's in her early 40s? Very early, yeah. Okay, so when you, when you were around her and you talked to her, she talked like a normal person. Yeah. Okay. She not so you had to? so you had no reason to believe that she had a mentality of anybody of anything younger or anything like that. Mm, not really. I mean, she has things with her, like she got along with certain aged people a little better than others. Very much doesn't like public and. She's very uh, introverted, but extroverted in a way. Um, uh, she just wasn't raised like the rest of us, and it's 
you know, education's a little different. Her, obviously, um, her upbringing was different, so that lends to that. Uh, but, you know, she's just, you know, I mean, I guess to super educated or normal, educated with normal lives, it makes it seem like she's entirely like, you know, whatever. I don't know. I hear people put that on our time like she's some sort of mentally deficient, uh, slow, childlike acting, you know, and that's, that's not the case. She may not be like super intelligent or something. Right. May not talk right, may not look right according to the rest of the world or what they want from her, but you know. And she's nervous in front of people and cameras. She she's always been kind of that way. Even before Summer Vanish. She's not big on crowds and stuff like that. Right. Well, here's the thing. Um, I can't say it online, but um, there's some very, very vile stuff in the back chat. Don't look at the back chat. Nah, oh gosh, like I that. wish I would have known this before he let her up. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's why Ernie dropped her. Wow, that's why Ernie dropped her. I could see that now. Well, it looks like Ernie dropped herself too, so there's that. <gasps> Did you see what Anissa said in the back chat? No, because I don't give a fuck about the back chat or Anissa, and she makes no difference to my life, nor does the Holy goddamn thing. Holy shit. Anyway. Oh my god. See? I told you. Mm -hmm. Charlotte is on the case. The TBI can stand down. Oh, oh, oh. Constant <laughs> Polygraph test. I've offered one Vanessa since day Sue one. says, Jody Shue. Yep. Oh, Jody Sue. Anissa says, shut the fuck about Summer, Su Summer Wells. No, whatever. Anyway, I don't care. Uh, they ain't got nothing to do with their lives. It was cool. Uh, here's the thing, folks. I really yeah, don't give I know, a fuck. Right? Who and I don't give a fuck. Any of these folks and their dumbassery. I'm not here for public opinion. Um, I know, right? Their shit, who they are. That's what freaks. I'm, I'm saying. Like, Some, we wanted to hear your story, and, like, they have to ruin everything. Yeah, well, uh. You know? I, you know, I speak enough on my own panel. They want that they can come get it. I'm not here for fucking content. Mine, their clicks and views tonight are to be pulled out, and I guarantee all well, this bullshit. And exactly that's what back. she said. She got blocked, so. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so uh, all this is just. Wait a minute. How? I'm not in the mood for it. 
I'm sick. I have better shit to do. Uh, if Arnie wants to contact law enforcement, so be it. Uh, somebody pretending to be like me, um, trying to set him up and get him somewhere that I doesn't miss- have cell phone access, and that could be dangerous to him. Um, and uh, it's worrisome that they're trying to get him to do that. It seems like another soap opera turn of events, you know. So that's on them. They can play soap opera bill. Um, but I've never uh, messaged nor called Army in the background like that. So uh, he knows I know. Uh, so him needing me on panel is, you know. Uh, he could have simply not made it content and just contacted the law, I mean, law enforcement or fed about it, but here we are. So, and here you all are, and you want to ask questions and whatever tonight, and um, everybody's just curious as to where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I guess where Candace and Don are at and what they're doing. Right. And really. Yep. Oh dear. Anyway, 